Hello, survivors, and welcome back to Indie Game Test Drive. Today is April 2nd, 2015, and we are about to take the Spatials out for a short spin and kick the proverbial tires and see what she's got under the hood. But before we do so, I would like to point out that I am currently under the weather. My head is kind of in a fog. I've got the flu. Um, I'm at the end of the cycle, which is nice. I'm on the mend, but I still may exhibit some of the symptoms of the flu in this video, such as hack and cough and confusion. Uh, <laughs> so just bear with me. Let's try to get through this. I'm thinking maybe 20 minutes of gameplay. Show you as much as possible so you can make a, an intelligent decision as to whether this is something that you would like to uh, spend your hard-earned space bucks on. Uh, now, before we jump into the gameplay and get started, I would like to uh, at least get the the nitty-gritty out of the way. So this game is made by Weird and Rye. It's on Steam. It just came out a few days ago. It is $12.99. It's a full game, by the way. It's not an early access title. Amazing, right? Um, it is currently on sale for 25% off um, at the time of this recording. It is available for Windows and Mac. It is a real-time space station simulated with RPG elements, tactical combat, big universe to explore, and yada, yada, yada. Let's go. I'll show you. Uh, let's continue with my game. I've got about an hour sunk into this particular game, though I have played the Spatials maybe two months ago. I was playing it, um, I played it for about a week or so, and I really enjoyed it, but I didn't think it was quite ready to share yet. And now that it's on Steam, I think uh, I think it's ready to roll. So here we are in our space station. So essentially, it's far into the future. We have been given uh, five of these little space sim people here, these officers and they are tasks with, tasked with building a space station on the wild frontier of space. Now, I have built all this up. You start with the five little dudes and a tiny little teleporter area right here, and that's it. So I've gone ahead and built up a barracks. I've got a kitchen. I've got a workshop and a warehouse. And uh, you will essentially have to build up your base, and this is how you do it. With these controls over here, you can lay down corridors and floors. Um, in fact, why don't we go ahead and see what have I not built yet? I think I've built pretty much all that I can so far. Um, now, you know what? Let's just go ahead and build up a little barracks. Another barracks over here. Just to give you a, a demonstration of how the building works. It's quite simple. And you just kind of paint out your blueprint. And we'll make a small room here for any future officers that we get. And that's it. And then uh, they will take it upon themselves to get over there and build. So like any simulation game, um, this is a base building and management sim. You have to manage your sims to keep them happy and healthy. Um, and they also they actually level up. We're going to send them out on missions on the planet. So they actually do tactical missions. And there's quests down there. And there's loot. The planets can be exploited for resources. And the whole idea behind this is to establish this spaceport and uh, get visitors to come, and uh, to come and visit and spend cash here. And we are far from that right now. So we don't even allow them to come yet. We haven't even built the necessary means to allow visitors to come in here and, uh, and check us out yet. Because we're, we're just getting started. So now I've gone ahead and built up that uh, little barracks. And we shall... Go back to my barracks, and I don't remember where this stuff is anymore, but uh, we'll put a, a bed down, even though I think I have five beds, but just in case we get somebody else to join, why don't we put a bed right here? Excuse me, fella. Um, I love how they wear the, uh, the Star Trek uniforms, the yellow and the red and the blue shirts. Uh, so we can rotate this around, obviously, and click the check mark, and then somebody's going to build it. So right now, our little space people here all have whoops oh no i don't want another bed um they all have certain classes i guess you could say in fact let's go take a look at them right now and you can see them all here we have gal highland level three engineer we've got a, a level two diplomat um, bard white we've got dacia Farhuhar is a, a level two strategist we've got a doctor here and we've got a scientist so i'm pretty sure you start out with those five general roles but we can put them into jobs and careers here as well inside our in our spaceport, uh, our space station, um, to give them things to do like cooking. And um, as far as I know, that's all. Well, that's pretty much all I know at this point. <laughs> I again, I haven't really spent a lot of time with it yet. So I'll tell you what, why don't we just do this? Let's just let's go down to the planet and get a mission going. So we're not just walking around 
uh, twiddling, twiddling our thumbs here in the base. We'll come back to the base in a bit. In a, in a bit. So let's go to the star system. So now there's a pretty large galaxy out there. And it is made up of, I think, about 30 star systems total. Um, and each system will have a, 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 you know, a number of planets as well. So there's hundreds of planets to explore. And you can see that these areas over here are, are yet to be unlocked because it is, again, RPG-ish in that way where we have to concentrate over here in 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 in, in Kiti. And once we get through these systems and planets, we can move on to the next one. Um, so here's where we are right here. These are all the planets that we have available to us at the moment. And I have gone already down to Side Maze. And we have basically taken control of this planet, which is why you see that check mark there. So we are now gathering resources from this planet as well. So we're gaining right now three slime and three bugs per period. Um, and it's getting sent to our planet. We can use those to make things. So these show the resources that are available at those planets. Let's go over here and see what we can do. So here's a mission. Uh, it's a bounty mission. Completing this mission will reward us with a research point. And we need research points in order to upgrade our base. So we go over here to the tech tree. And this is where we spend our research points right here. So right now we have one research point available and we use these research points to unlock um, these techs. So factory is automatically given. You automatically start with logistics and living. These over here that are flashing are not yet available to us until we unlock them. And we need, for example, this one needs two research points and 250 credits to unlock. So I can't do it yet because I don't have the research points and that's where the tactical missions come in. So let's get back down to Etzkalfa and let's go do this bounty mission. Now we have available seats on the deployment transfer ship and I'm gonna go just go ahead and put pretty much everybody on there. This is something new. I don't remember this one I played before but it looks like these are color coordinated seats so we can bring one of each type of class apparently. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're going to start the mission, and now we are planet side, baby. And we have this uh, ma'am here explaining what to do. Uh, we're going to go kill the boss, essentially. Now we have limited control of these guys. We can kind of shuffle them around a little bit. And you can see they're all down here. They have health. They have energy. There's the pirates over there. We're going to get too close yet. We've got some alien life forms here as well. The indigenous species living here. And it tells you if it's... Uh, if it's hostile or not. If it says melee, that means it's going to attack you. It'll say passive. It's If it's like this guy here is a level 1 passive, he won't bother you. But this guy with the big happy face, yeah, yeah, trust me, he's not he's not friendly. So now we can use some of our skills. <laughs> Snipe, <laughs> excuse me. We have uh, some of these skills here, and these are mapped to your keyboard uh, numbers, which is fantastic. So one is my sniper rifle, two is my grenade, three is whatever this guy does. Um, what do you do? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, maybe some kind of a shield or something. This heals everybody and this gives everyone a little energy boost back. So boom, see? Alright, so let's go. Let's sneak in. Now this guy right here looks like he's got a special asterisk on his head. So he might be the guy we need to kill. We've got to destroy the antennas. So here's the exclamation. Oh, hey! Boom! Nice. Oh, get him. Come on, guys. Get in there. Okay, everybody has phasers. Oh wait, did I give everybody phasers? Because I think we had some guys without phasers. And I meant to do that on camera and to give them some phasers. Um, that's okay, I think we can handle this without everybody being armed at this point. But anyway, we want to kill pirates. And I think the guy with the star on his head was some kind of a boss or something. But th these are our targets right here, obviously. So we need to blow these up. Let's go throw some nades at them, huh? Well, let's snipe this guy. And then shoot this guy. Yeah, not everybody's shooting, apparently. Oh, oh, watch out for this guy. Back up. Fall back, fall back. Let's hit some uh, health and some energy. Snipe him. Nice. All right, get this guy. Grenade. Nice. <laughs> so you can see you have some tactical options here. And these, um, these skills can be replaced with other skills. These are implants, essentially. 
Um, items that you can carry, there's some implants as well, and we'll go back to base and I'll show you how to upgrade those. You can replace them with other, other types of skills, so you're not always stuck with grenades, for example. If you don't want grenades, there's a flamethrower that the engineer can use and some other cool stuff. Uh, this is just a little friendly guy, but if you kill the friendly guys, they, they give you a little bit of material too. A few credits and things, so. Hey, we're here to exploit, right? Exterminate, exploit a little bit. Yeah, sure, why not? You coming? Everybody? Come on, stick together. Let's stick together as a team. So, destroy the command post and the arrows are going to tell us where to go. So, let's follow the arrows. Let's snipe this guy. Bam! Nice. And, okay, we got to destroy all this stuff. we got this pretty large group of enemies in here, but we're just going to keep dancing around, sniping. Oh, I missed. So these um, these skills are on cooldowns, but they're pretty quick, which is fun. Oh, that whole that whole gang in one blast! <laughs> Boom! So we are level twos and threes right now, and so I'm assuming that that's why this is kind of easy right now. But boom! Um, let's get a health and that going. I think they're all dead. Yeah. So these are the only guys with guns. I, I should have given the other two guns. My doctor and my scientist are not armed right now. Running low on energy here, let's give a boost. So we are collecting some loot as we're uh, wiping out these enemies and destroying things. Ooh, what's this guy do? So destroy the command post, okay. Let's go find another command post. So we're just gonna finish these guys off. And then we'll move on. Boom! <laughs> Easy peasy! And he's getting low. Let's have a boost there. Ma'am, I don't really know your name or what you are. It'd be nice to see that here so I can call him out by name. But uh, maybe that'll be added eventually. Oh, oh yeah. Here's the boss that we summoned right now. Okay, let's run. Don't let him get too close. He's pretty tough. So now he's the colonel. We have to eliminate the colonel. Okay, everybody fire. Got him. Nice. And she's like, nice job. Visit the planet again anytime for more loot and profit. <laughs> so nobody got knocked out that time. That was cool. Very cool. And now we can leave anytime. <coughs> excuse me. Simply by clicking on that um, fly home button. But let's shoot it. Let's see what he gives us. Eh, you know, stuff. Okay, I think we are ready to head back now. So we're going to leave the planet. Your station inventory is full and some looted items can't be just... Oh, no. Uh, do you want to stay while you make room in your station? Okay, let's stay here. So it looks like I can just leave everybody here. It seems kind of dangerous. Because um, I don't know if they're going to fight on their own or not. Let's go put them over here in this little village. All right, let's go back to our station, and we're going to need to build more warehousing. Um, oh, but this is a problem. There's nobody here to build it. Ah. Well, let's get rid of some stuff then. We can go to the recycler. See, if we had left one of our officers back here, he or she could have built up some more of these warehouses. Seeing these are the pallets to store more items, but since I took everybody on the mission... Nobody's going to be able to build it. But we can recycle stuff. So I already know for a fact that we have some duplicate items, like this flamethrower. So we're going to get rid of that. We'll recycle that one. And it gives us a helium resource. Okay. My inventory is full. Oh, great. I thought it would give us just credits. That's weird. I know this is uh, unnecessary because we already have one. All right, let's go back to the planet. And now let's leave. Okay. Oh, we good. We made enough room. Awesome. So now we can go back and let's give us... Put some of these sidearms out there. So a beam gun we just came back with from that particular mission. Um, it's a seven power. And what's nice about this is the... Uh, one of my, my initial complaints when I played this a while ago was... You couldn't tell if there was anything available that was better than what they already have. And it was kind of a hassle to go through everything and compare it manually. 
Um, but now it shows you where there's a potential upgrade with that flashing up arrow, which is very nice. So then you automatically know at a glance, oh, well, we've got something better here for Dacia. So let's go see. So we're going to give her the beam. What does she have? It's a stinky level three power laser. Yeah, let's give her. Let's give her the beam gun. How's that? So it's going to destroy the current implant and replace it with that one. No biggie. Um, we're going to do the engineer later. Um, this girl doesn't have anything. Let's just give her a ray gun. And my scientist doesn't have anything. That's why they weren't shooting down on the planet. Okay. Well, now that everybody's back in the base, let's go ahead and upgrade our um, warehouse. We need to put more pallets down. So let's put a pallet here. We don't want to get stuck having to um, to destroy things again. <laughs> Look at this guy running over here so fast. <laughs> Gal Halen's going to build it up, no problem. Thanks, buddy. Um, excellent. Okay, so that gives us some extra slots here because everything that you find on the planet is going to go in here. So the, this is basically like inventory. Now, everybody's going to start getting hungry here because I don't have any food manufacturing going yet. And this is a problem. It was for me when I played this a long time ago. Um, so we need to go over here and get some food production going. And that would be... Shucks, you know what? I think we have to do both of these, too. Let's do the haul. Now that we have our two research points, we can unlock this tech. Yay! And that's going to open up Cheap diner, lunch table, refreshments counter, rations, um, and, and products that we can sell at these locations. So, awesome. Pizza, etc. This is very nice. Let's go do that. Let us... Now, we already have the kitchen. I already have my kitchen built. You know, so, we have the kitchen area here. We have the basic kitchen. And now that we have some... Um, now that we've just opened up that hall technology, we can start assigning some foods to build now let's see we can just say of course we need the resources to make it so one pizza equals one water it requires seeds and fruits juices desserts everything requires water huh okay so what we're gonna do is go back to the planets and the two planets that I own in fact the one that I just took over um, has resources that we can now exploit and have it shipped back to our space base, right? Now, in order to do this, we have to purchase slots. So right now it's 25 credits for one slot and we're gonna need some seeds and we're gonna need some H2O and some fruits. And every time you purchase a slot, the next slot's gonna be a little bit more expensive, but we need all this stuff. Um, Let's get another fruit. And here's our cash right here. We don't have much income yet because we don't have visitors coming to our planet, uh, coming to our space station. So hopefully we can we can uh, make some amenities for them to come and visit soon that we can open it up. So let's see. What is this stuff? Oh, let's buy it anyway. All right. Cool. So now we'll have those resources coming in regularly, just like we have the bugs <laughs> and uh, this slime. So somebody, who is this? So somebody's gonna make the food. Now the problem with this, and this is one of the issues I had originally, was it, it seemed like nobody would eat the food after we made it, but mainly it's because I don't know what to do. This is open to everybody, right? Open to everybody. So you can assign certain objects to individuals so only they will eat there or use that thing. This is what we need. A cheap diner. So this is where I had issues before. Is I didn't have a place for people to eat. So let's make a diner. Let's put a... Let's just put a little corridor here. And build up a diner. Can someone get that corridor, please? You got it? Good, got it. Got it, good. And when they get over there, we're going to have them build cheap diner and we'll just make it like that yeah cheap diner and then this is where in the cheap diner we can put the lunch table that's where they consume the food i think 
<laughs> Sorry, I just don't remember. We are definitely a little low on water. So that's something we need to think about. So we can go to a planet that another planet that has water. This one only has the one. But if we take over this one, it'll give us one more as well. And how about Covey's? Well, Covey's has lots of water. So I think the next mission is obviously going to be Covey's. And that'll give us not only the water we need, but also access to higher level, um, high level missions and so forth. All right, our diner is pretty big. I think I made it a little too large, but that's okay. We're gonna get some visitors here soon. And let's go ahead and make the lunch table. Let's put a lunch table like right here. And let's put a refreshments counter here. Let's make those up. And we have, we have some decorative items as well to make it look nice. And I think that increases, whoops. I didn't want it like that. And that increases uh, the happiness or something. Okay, so here's the lunch table that actually sells the food that we had made in the kitchen. And this is where our officers come and purchase it. Now, can they eat it right there at the table too? I don't know. Here, let's... um. Minimum stock. I don't know. So these are the details that I'm really unfamiliar with. <laughs> but hopefully I've given you kind of the basic idea of how the game is played. And uh, that should be enough, I would guess, for you to make a decision as to whether or not this is something that you would like to purchase on your own and play some more. Now, let me just go over one more thing because I didn't show you this. This is something new. We have contracts here, too which we can use in order to gain a little XP and some loot. And they're just kind of like passive missions. And basically, it shows you the rewards here. So this is research looting, uh, difficulty level one. It shows you what you're going to get, a little XP, some items, and then the bonus chance when picking scientists and diplomats. So when you put somebody in these slots, like if I put my diplomat here, our chance of success now starts to rise. Scientist, 51%. Ooh, this one's hard. And a strategist. How's that? 69%. I'm not going to do that. That seems kind of hard. Um, you know, let's do one where we have a better chance of success. Like this one. Oh, it's going to give us 20 water. I didn't even notice that. Awesome. That's going to be great. So we have a 100% chance of success for this particular contract. Costs us $100. But that's it. Takes about four minutes. They disappear from our base, and uh, they'll be they'll be done in four minutes, and we'll have some more waters to make some more pizzas. <laughs> and in the meantime, I might try to figure out how this thing works. Okay, guys, I figured it out, and it's really quite obvious. My, like I said, with this flu, my head is in a cloud, um, and I just completely had a brain fart, but. Essentially, the kitchen is what you use in order to make the food. So everything is here. We've got the rations, we've got the juice, we've got the dessert, and we have the pizza. These tables over here, these counters, refreshments counter and the lunch table, is where the food is sold that you make in the kitchen. And obviously the kitchen can only make one item at a time. So um, so I was wrong. I, I, I could have sworn that we could make juices and desserts without water back in the old version, but um, maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe I'm just hallucinating because I'm sick. But anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty much it, guys, for now. This is uh, The Spatials. Uh, again, it's on Steam. I'll put a link down below. It's $12.99. Normally, it's $9 and change right now because it's on sale for a short time. I don't know how long that sale is going to last, but but check it out. So if you if you like what you see here, it um, might be worth uh, giving it a try yourself. Again, it's not an early access title. It is a complete game, so nothing to lose, right? All right, with that, guys, I think we're going to call it quits, and I'm going to go get some sleep. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, a like on the video is always appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh, wait a second. I can't go yet. I want to show you guys the uh, the contract completion. Four seconds. Three, 
two, one, zero, complete. Typical abundance in Eklahlaha has been completed. And we hit complete, and we get our goodies, and another mission pops up, and uh, we're going to go check what we got. So we had 20 waters, right? So now our chef can get back to cooking. That is pretty cool. All right, guys, with that, we are definitely going to call it quits now. <laughs> um, oh, there you go. You see the little minus, all those resources getting used up. Pretty cool stuff. All right, and now we're going to call it quits, guys. So, I hope again, I hope you enjoyed, and we shall see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.